a bunch of new Nazca lines. Like they just tagged a whole bunch of new yeah. ones. Like it's just in the last week or so. It's amazing. Yeah. People are either changing the world. One time I fell asleep trying to put on a pair of pants. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> We've all I, been there, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 Been there. I know. We're all shooting from the waist up for a reason, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But we do podcasts for a I'm reason, a okay? <laughs> <laughs> what? He is. He's all, this is a common, common outfit for him. So, it's, it's, it's pod uniform right there. Well, you can't pull it down any further. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the seams here. So all the man, like, yeah. like that. <laughs> Here's I'm a question for you. I'm only a size large from the chest up. Like I, when we talk about whatever, like left behind. Like what about like byproducts of like, um, like let's say like for example, like byproduct of commercial development, like microplastics, mm. right? Like that shit's it. We're, we're starting to see that in breast milk, right? Yeah. Like that is everywhere now. Do you think we'd be able to find something like that from these advanced civilizations? Like, and then again, like these are industrial advanced civilizations, yet we can still find these like, you know, precious metals and stuff like that without having to like, you know, look that hard. That's a great, yeah, that's a great question. That's something we actually didn't talk about on, on the show because that, yeah, the microplastic thing, you would ideally be able to say this material is synthetic, right? This version of this version of petroleum or petroleum products doesn't occur naturally, but then it would be so widespread by now that you might you might also think, okay, this just used to be a much less hospitable climate because that's what all the scientists say about ancient earth right <laughs> they're like yeah it used to be just fucking lava everywhere it was nuts uh we're lucky to be here um the but world yeah, was a terrible place yeah i think that's i think that's brilliant a lot of it's in the eye of the beholder too as much science as you can bring to bear on this uh there is a human element that becomes involved because inevitably we're talking about a sample size of one, right? There's just one example that people know of, uh, and we would compare everything to that example. Like, to that idea about the girder, I always think of this too, every time I'm in a city that has a lot of bridges and skyscrapers, I think of some, like, future historian coming back, <laughs> doing their, like, version of the future Netflix documentary, and they're like, uh, this city is made of temples to the penis, which was worshipped in these times. <laughs> Note the aqueduct system, right? That keeps all, all the all the, all the worshippers of these penises um, supplied with with fresh water. They're not so different from you and I. You know what I mean? That shit happens all the time. Um, but the microplastics. I'm going to hold on to that one, Andrew, because I think that changes that changes the calculation in a serious way. Uh, one of the ways that our buddies who made the slurried hypothesis think about this is in the half-lives of radioactive material, right? Okay. That's something that would have some lasting power and outside of one place in Gabon, I believe, uh, you would have to have a intelligent source creating that stuff, right? And it's mm. very hard to get rid of. So that's the example they went with. But we got to see what these guys think about plastic. Well, plastic. I mean, plastic I'm thinking about it right now. So, uh, yeah. so say you are. <laughs> I'm thinking about it right now. Forget those guys. Forget this those motherfuckers. Right right. right. I'm going to tell, tell you something about plastic right now. Oh, lay it so, on us. So say, I mean, because we're we're saying that we're humans. Like we're we are evolved. We? Are we? Now? Yeah, we are humans. <laughs> if you didn't realize, no. But I'm saying we, we evolved. Did you just assume my species, bro? <laughs> yeah. oh, God, you're so <laughs> anth you're, <laughs> you're so <laughs> anthropocentric. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm a terrible person. <laughs> no, but like we're humans, and we invented, we extracted fossil fuels, and we made plastic. But what if, we're talking about a, a civilization before it could not have been mammalian. It could have been a different species from the hundreds of millions of years. Let's say. Let's, let's just go with dinosaurs. I mean, we talk about reptilians all the time. Let's go with dinosaurs. Sure. We we know that some of them had a bigger brain than others. They were fairly smart. They evolved, maybe evolved to birds. Yeah, they yeah those are the those are the Sinclairs. I watched the yes. show. I know it all about them. But maybe <laughs> maybe a civilization evolved to industrial age stuff because in the industrial age, like steam power, we did not have plastic. We used everything metal and wood, and we clay and whatever else we could use to form and mold and move stuff. 
But there's no plastic. Mm-hmm. We'll only like 100. But those materials are so plastic. readily available, right? Like, don't you think those stores would have been fucking completely depleted by now? Clay and stuff? No. Well, no, like metal. Metal. precious yeah, metals like, and like like Andrew's saying that if if you perhaps had a civilization that ore? ran on types of like ores or they they ran on precious mm-hmm. metals, like you wouldn't find that stuff as close to the surface as we did earlier. Now you have like uh, yeah, you yeah. have the you have the industrial you know you have industrial uh, ore production and extraction and stuff like this. You have these miles down uh, you know shafts that go down to the earth like five six miles whatever and it's all like you couldn't you you would be very hard pressed to find any precious Within metal above. Within what time span have we had to resort to going that deep to get it? Yeah, right? There's so many um, but there's so many precious metals in the world. Like, well, there's, there's how many thing, people yeah. would it take to extract all of those out of the timeline? I guess. Yeah, get it together, humanity. Chop, chop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course, extract more. Of course, do better. I mean, you could also be like, yeah, um, like I said, like maybe we're being a little bit too anthropocentric about it. You're th- I mean, we, you're talking 100%. about sample. Sam- you're you're being. We we have the sample one. We're the only intelligent species that we know of at this point that has come that can but manipulate. Maybe maybe another civilization they didn't put so much value on gold or. Or precious metals like maybe mm. their technology was not so much based around what that was they used some other type of material or and maybe or, they're or, alchemists that too <laughs> there's yeah. more utopian they just <laughs> you find they're advanced civilizations all over the place like you just pick them up off the ground back then and just turn <laughs> like, anything yeah, yeah. <laughs> i i mean it's it's a good question because <clears throat> what what i think we're all pointing toward here is uh sort of interrogating the assumptions that come out like we know this about our current society it's it's very easy for a lot of people to say yeah of course they used uh they used our particular approach you know they they took what we call fossil fuels and they just went ham because that's what we did and we're so friggin' smart but that is an assumption, and that's a stumbling block. There are a couple of other, surely, like you mentioned, precious ores. There are other things they could do. I love the alchemy idea. Let's just go for that one. I don't know if I can vote as a guest on the show. You can. But like, also, you know, what, is it, what if it's entirely solar power? We talk about this with alien, the concept of extraterrestrials all the time, right? Uh, the Fermi paradox argues that, yes, statistically, uh, intelligent life is out there, and that also yes we're probably not going to find it or exist in the t- same time frame <clears throat> but another question is would those two very different things be able to recognize each other as intelligence mm. would we just be thinking wow these these gigantic chains of hydrogen molecules seem to behave in a very particular way you know what i mean <laughs> and they like is it possible that if something came before, it was so very different, so inimical to our understanding that that we wouldn't be able to recognize it. I think that's pretty that's pretty exciting. Um, and maybe a little depressing, but it's interesting. <laughs> How would we find it? I mean, it's, it could be something like it. Yeah, it could have been a a, a colony of, of fungus, like hyper intelligent fungus, like that could have just been well, like yeah. some that that that, that forms some type of conscious fun guys. You know, fun guys. I'm sure they're yeah, they're fun to be. My with money's on that, by the way, for <laughs> for meeting an organic. Um, an organic life form from like beyond the stars. Uh, I think like bacteria, some sort of fungus. Mushroom people. Just, yeah, yeah. It would just. Oh, be that just takes over like human minds when you meet it. Like well, you, course, breathe, you breathe. You breathe in the spores, and you're like, Ugh, and then it just talks through you. Yeah. I'm and on. then the only thing that can save us, <laughs> the only thing that will be able to save us, is a Italian plumber and his co- or his brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That was a documentary. I'm telling you that that movie. Is <laughs> yeah. Like it's real. Bob Hoskins and John and Leguizamo, their, like, and their pet raptor and their pet weird lizard thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I haven't watched. I haven't rewatched it, but I remember thinking, um, thinking they made some definite choices with the Goombas. You know, oh, yeah. I feel like it, it was easy. Not to mess that up, <laughs> yeah. but it's a de- they, But how would they show the effects of the de-evolution ray if you didn't? <laughs> oh gosh, that's right. It's all coming back to me. Bob oh, Hoskins breakout role. Yeah, fucking yeah. amazing. 
really made his career. I think he yeah. was on inside the actor's studio talking about that. And know? how he is too drunk to remember. <laughs> he doesn't remember any of it. Uh, he's, he's too drunk on most of the, the uh, like most of the shooting. I think he was totally. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.